All right, here we are. It's a uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, this is Math 99L. We're on the fifth activity. And I know you have a test this week or next week on quadratics. So let's talk about solving quadratics. Okay, which I'm sure by now we've done it. We've done, a, we've done it in this class already. I know in the lab, and I'm sure you've done it in your courses a lot because you have a test next week. So well, there's three ways to do this. The first way is to f by factoring the quadratic and using the zero product property. Uh, the second way, my favorite, is by completing the square. And the third is with the good old quadratic formula which always works but is really easy to make mistakes with okay so um, let's just take an example and go through these three and then um, do some practice. All right, so here, here's our example. We're solving the quadratic x squared minus 20x plus 49 equals minus 2. All right. So your first step should always be to set everything equal to 0. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So now I have x squared minus 20x plus 51 equals 0. And here you have a choice. You could try any one of these, but I always start with factoring because sometimes it just jumps right out at you, especially when there's especially when there's just a 1 here, right? Which is called um, being monic. Okay. okay. So let's see. What are the factors of 51? We got, oops, we got 1 and 51. 3 and 17, and that's it. And 3 and 17 add to 20, so I'm going to go x minus 3, x minus 17. And now you check, right? Every time at this step, you have to check by foiling. Make sure when you do this factorization that when you multiply all this stuff together, you actually get this. So let's see, we have x squared minus 3x minus 17x plus 51. And sure enough, that checks out. OK. So from here, we invoke the zero product property, which says that if this guy, which says that if this guy times this guy equals 0, then this one equals 0 or this one equals 0. And so you solve these little linear equations. You get x equals 3, x equals 17. And so your final answers are 3 and 17. And you could, you could take these guys, both of them, plug them into the original equation and make sure it works, but I think by now we've figured that out. Okay, so that was one by factoring. So let's do the same example by completing the square. So when you complete the square, you need to have everything with the x's on one side and all constants on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 49 from both sides. And then I like to leave this space here empty. All right. Minus 2 minus 49 is minus 51. And now you complete the square. You take, you take this number, minus 20, and square it. Add that to this side. 
and add it to the other side. Um, I missed a step here. Sorry. Let me uh, let me backtrack. It's nice you can erase this, unlike pen. So what you're supposed to do is take oh, come on. this number, divide it by 2, and then square it. Which is what? Minus 10 squared. Okay. And then by construction, this becomes x minus 10 quantity squared. This is a shortcut my students always used. Whatever this number is, whatever this number right here is, is always the one that goes right there. And then on the right, you do a little bit of math and you get what 100 plus minus 51 is 49. Okay, and now you take the square root of both sides. And this says that x minus 10 equals plus or minus the square root of 49, which is plus or minus 7. All right, and that says x equals 10 plus 7 is one solution, and x equals 10 minus 7 is another solution. So x is equal to 17, and x is equal to 3, which is exactly what we showed up here. All right, so 3 and 17. Okay, same problem. I've had many students over the year who say, I don't want to have to do no three different kinds of ways to solve a quadratic. I'm just going to use the quadratic formula every time. So we're going to use the quadratic formula this time and say, well, I'm not even going to see if I can factor or complete the square. Okay, so you got to get it into form, right? Because it says, it says x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, I'm going to try my best to do this. So x is going to be so minus so so 20 plus or minus the square root of um. 20 squared, which is 400, minus 4 times A times C, all over 2. Okay, and this becomes 20 plus or minus the square root of, that's a big number, Fifty times four is um, <laughs> two oh four and so square root of one ninety six all over two A. Eh? What's the square root of 196? 14. So you get um, 20 plus 14 over 2. Or 20 minus 14 over 2. And that's 17. And that's 6 halves. And that's 3. So that does it. OK. I didn't enjoy that last one at all, but I like the first two. 
Okay, so here's your guided practice problems that you're going to turn in on Brightspace. And make sure they're in before 1600 today, because that's when I've shut it down. I don't want you to have to do this as homework or anything. I want you to use the 2 to 315 period to, to actually work on this um, on the days we don't meet. Okay, so the so the so, so all you're doing is solving solving. <sighs> Solve the quadratics. One. X squared plus nine x equals minus twenty two. 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals 0. 3. 3x squared plus 21x equals minus 30. 4. That's a typo. Um, three X squared minus eighteen X minus forty two equals six five. Two x squared plus sixteen x minus seventy equals minus four and six. Um, x squared minus seven x equals zero and seven. x squared minus 2x equals 9. That's probably enough. And yeah, you're going to turn this on under bright space and there'll be a shell there for, uh, for activity 5. And then I'll see you Thursday on Zoom. At 1400. I'm going to take roll there, so make sure you appear. All right.